हे वॉट इज अप इंटरनेट वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल टेन थाउजेंड सब्सक्राइबर्स टेन एफ इन थाउजेंड सब्सक्राइबर्स थैंक यू सो मच ईच एंड एवरी वन इफ यू हुआ बिन पार्ट ऑफ दिस जर्नी आई एम रियली ग्रेटफुल आई एम रियली थैंकफुल टू हैव यू गाइज ऑन दिस चैनल एंड इफ यू न्यू टू दिस चैनल वेल हाई वॉट्स अप वेलकम टू टी के नाइट एंड यू मस्ट बी हेयर फॉर अ न्यू की बोर्ड राइट सो आई डिड अ कपल ऑफ चेंजेस टू माई वर्क सेटअप सो फर्स्ट ऑफ कॉर्स नया मॉनिटर दिस इज माई न्यू मॉनिटर द रिव्यू विल बी समवेयर इन द कार्ड्स बट ऑल्सो आई बॉड अ न्यू मकैनिकल की बोर्ड सो दिस इज द कॉस्मिक बाइट जी के सिक्सटीन फायर फ्लाई मकैनिकल की बोर्ड एंड लेट मी गेट इट आउट फ्रॉम स्ट्रेट वे I have never used a mechanical keyboard before this so I'm not a gamer this was my first mechanical keyboard but now that I have and I have been using this keyboard for about 1 month I have a lot to share with you guys so without any further ado let's get started नंबर वन थिंग यू नोटिस एज सुन एज यू अनबॉक्स दिस की बोर्ड इज दैट कॉस्मिक बाइट ने कोई भी पेपर वर्क और यूजर गाइड और यूजर मैनुअल नहीं दिया इन द बॉक्स विच इज काइंड ऑफ वियर बिकॉज दिस इज ऑल्सो एन आर जी बी की बोर्ड सो आपको यूजर गाइड कभी कभार चाहिए होता है यू नो टू चेंज द लाइटिंग और हाउ टू चेंज द लाइटिंग और वो सब जाने के लिए बट वियर बट आई हैव फिगर इट आउट सो स्टिक अराउंड ऑन दिस वीडियो इफ यू आर इन टू डैट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द डिजाइन बिकॉज As soon as you pick up this keyboard and start to set it up, you would notice that ये keyboard काफ़ी ज़्यादा भारी है So outside से बाहर से काफ़ी ज़्यादा you know cheap लगता है but it's actually made out of metal. At least the upper plate is made out of metal जहाँ पर actually में keys हैं So I'm not sure about others, but I actually felt that this keyboard is actually really heavy. Whenever you lift it up, although I think आप ज़्यादा lift नहीं करोगे because this is a keyboard and you would have it on your workstation. Now turning this keyboard around, you would notice that right at the dead center you have the company logo and the model name. और जो इसके चार corners हैं वहाँ पर आपको थोड़ा rubber padding देखने को मिलेगा to prevent it from skidding while you have it on your workstation. And also you get two folding legs to give you that elevation, to give you that you know. एगोनॉमिक टाइपिंग एक्सपीरियंस ओवरऑल एंड द गुड पार्ट इज जो फोल्डिंग लेग्स है उसमें भी रबर पैडिंग है विच अ लॉर्ड ऑफ द अदर मैकेनिकल की बोर्ड एट दिस प्राइस पॉइंट एक्चुअली मिस आउट ऑन नाउ आई एम नॉट द बिगेस्ट फैन ऑफ हैविंग द कंपनी लोगो नाइस एंड लाउड एट द फ्रंट आई एक्चुअली लाइक अ मोर मिनिमल लुक बट एस फाइन आई एम एंड आई एम ऑल्सो नॉट द फैन ऑफ द फॉन्ट ऑफ द कीज दैट कम विद दिस की बोर्ड एंड आई थिंक मैं इवेंचुअली इसको रिप्लेस कर दूंगा कोई और की कैप से इफ आई मैनेज to get one in india because india mein keyboard ka kuch bhi zyada craze nahi hai and talking about the wire yeah jaise maine abhi already mention kiya tha ye wired keyboard hai so you get that 1.6 meters long nice and premium quality wire it's also braided so it gives you that confidence that ye keyboard ko 4 5 saal to at least kuch nahi hone wala hai unless you are like super robust and I'm like pagle ko tarah use mat karna otherwise this keyboard can last you long enough with that braided cable i think now coming back to the keyboard now you will notice that this is actually a 10 keyless keyboard or tkl what others may call it which means that you don't get that dedicated numpad so now i don't really miss it because main numpad वैसे भी यूज नहीं करता था but if you are into using numpad you should know that this is a tkl keyboard so you won't get that numpad but you do get a full function row at the top so you can control volume you can play pause music you can also So open up calculator or your email app, which is nice to have, and also you get that dedicated Windows lock key that will prevent you from activating the Windows menu whenever you are playing games. So that's again nice to have feature on a mechanical keyboard. Okay, let's talk about my favorite feature of this keyboard, which I otherwise thought would never have impacted my purchasing decision. But yes, I'm talking about the RGB lighting. So first things first, this keyboard has individual RGB lighting for each of the keys. So it's much better than those membrane keyboards that has the whole panel lit up in rgb so you get in a total of 18 rgb patterns which you can shuffle around with the function key and you can also change the speed of this light you can change the color of course and you can of course change the brightness of this lighting as well overall i found the rgbs on this to be 
bright enough for both daytime usage as well as if you are working in darker environments. So I'll put everything you can do with the RGB lighting in the description box below or in the comment section so that you get to know how you can change all these lighting effects and also other controls you get on this keyboard. And talking about the keys that you will notice that the keys are slightly curved on the top and us keys ma thoda sa slightly rough texture bhi hai to give you that grip while you're typing or playing games basically to prevent anti-ghosting which is a big deal if you are into gaming and also you would notice that Cosmic Byte ne again koi bhi keycap removal tool nahi diya hai inside the box but you can easily manage to remove the keycaps with a couple of debit or credit cards it's very easy but yeah inside you would notice that these actually come with Automo blue switches and not Cherry MX blue switches which is actually the industry standard but Automo blue switches are actually the first clone of the Cherry MX Blues and they sound very similar to Cherry MX Blues I would say because I have seen videos I have never used a mechanical keyboard in my life before this but yeah now one thing you should note that is Automo Blue switches are one of the loudest of the bunch so while you type on this keyboard just be sure that you don't have anyone around sleeping or who is who gets easily irritated with keyboard sounds because this is one of the loudest keyboards and talking about loudness here is a quick sound test that would give you a better idea how this key sound while you type on this cosmic byte gk16 firefly mechanical keyboard <laughs> Now I did also game a little bit on this keyboard but again just like I said I'm not a gamer nahi, so I might not be the best judge of it but overall I would say I didn't face any issues at all this keyboard actually comes with 1000 hertz pulling rate which is which has something to do with how fast the keys actually register the command on the games so that's a good to know feature I guess but talking about the overall typing experience I absolutely loved typing on this keyboard. Being my first mechanical keyboard, I would say it did take me a while to get used to the feel of the keyboard because the key travel on mechanical keyboards is fairly long, but it's again very satisfying to type as well. And fun fact, initially, when I used this keyboard, I would find instances where I could type keyboard or type keyboard so that I get to type on this keyboard. And I love just typing scripts of my these videos on this keyboard i would say i have actually started typing longer scripts of late which is kind of wrong because usse lambi videos banti hai jaise ki ye wale so if you are planning to buy your first mechanical keyboard be it for typing or be it for casual use or be it for gaming this might be one of the best deals because this comes at rupees 2200 on amazon india and yes like right now i think it's out of stock but it will be back and i'll let you know when it does but yes if this is also your first purchase or first dedicated mechanical keyboard purchase the cosmic byte gk16 firefly might be one of the best deals out there so yes guys this was my quick review of this mechanical keyboard let me know in the comment section below how did you found it and if you found this video helpful it would be great if you can smash that like button and also if you would want to watch more such content in your youtube feed it would be great if you can subscribe to tkinet and especially hit that bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload such videos in future as well so yes till then keep asking and i will see you in the next one